going to kindly join us up front. We promise not to like spit or do anything offensive like that. <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight.
Pero ir a un No, no. Sorry, I haven't done this in a decade, so I'm knocking off 10 years of dust up here. <laughs> You're not old. This next song is about something that's a particular shame of this nation, a nation with so many shames to bear already. It's about the prison industrial complex. We lead the world in the amount of our citizens that we lock up and imprison in an inhumane, brutalizing system that no one truly believes in. Because when a person has been released from prison, they're not free. They're subject to all kinds of regulations that shun them from their communities of support, from their families, from the lives that they knew before they were incarcerated, that make them hyper vulnerable to unemployment, poverty, that encourage a return to the extra legal lifestyle that got them imprisoned in the first place. This is a system that has insinuated itself in our economy so much that entire communities depend upon filling their prisons. And so the police have an, uh, an incentive to find more and more people 
to lock up more and more lives, to ruin more and more families, to separate and destroy. And this burden, as all burdens in the history of this country, falls disproportionately upon communities of color and the poor. So people who are locked away in prison experience a lot of loneliness, a lot of distress due to removal from their familiar lives. So anything you can do to reach out to a prisoner, be it contributing to prisoner defense funds, be it contributing to their canteen rations, or be it writing to them just to let them know that they're not alone, that they're not a pariah, that they're not scum, that there's people who still feel for them and associate with them. Please do consider taking your time to do that because prison is a dreadful place that far, far too many have to endure.
Right.